So when you talk about a big position, uh, we own a million and a half shares, right? And it took us, you know, over three years, three and a half years, uh, to acquire the shares. So it's a three hundred million dollar investment, and uh, that represents less than one and a half percent of our assets. So basically, uh, you know, it's three hundred million dollars, a lot of money. On the other hand, it's one and a half percent of our assets. But the assets that we uh, can invest in, we have a, you know, most of the investments are we have uh, emerging markets, we have small cap, we have mix, so it doesn't fit in those pockets. But where it does fit, I have extraordinarily large right. positions where I can. And the reason I do is because this is, in my mind, one of the most interesting companies, maybe the most interesting that I've ever invested in. And so for my career, it's risky, uh, but for my career, I've made 10 times, 20 times, 50 times, 30 times, uh, you know, we've made, and a lot of companies. I think in this investment from here, in the next 15 years, we can make 30 to 50 times our money. You said it was 30 risky, though. 30 to 50. You said it was risky, though. Does that mean you think of it a little bit like a lottery ticket? No. Nothing at all like that. But you're risky because you're dependent upon a number of factors that you can't control. And so you're dependent upon, to some extent, uh, you know, legislatures, you're depending on some extent. So you are, with Tesla, nobody wants you to succeed except for the people who buy their product. And so the government doesn't, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the car dealers don't want you to succeed because no, the cars don't need right. service. Uh, the, uh, the unions don't want you to succeed because Tesla is remaking the way you make cars. So initially they have to prove the concept, then they got to prove they can make them, then they got to prove uh, that they can make them profitably. Right. Which Do where you they not are. worry about their cash burn? And let me ask you, uh, related to the cash burn idea, so many people have looked at this transaction between Tesla and SolarCity and the critique is that effectively um, he, he's using one business to support another, which is even more trouble. So when I was, uh, when I started to think about Tesla four or five years ago, stock was 33, we started to invest. And it's now 180, 190. Our average cost is, is over 200 now, because I bought a lot of stock here. And uh, when we started to invest, and I was telling people how exciting I was, how excited I was about the company and how big they could become, People said, you yeah, know, well, how can you think about that? You know, uh, if, if, if they get as many cars as you think they're going to get, there's 200 million cars in this country. I think they're all going to be electric someday. And there's 71, uh, 17 million cars a year produced in this country. I think they'll all be electric someday. But if they are, if I'm right, then what happens is that there's a tremendous demand for electricity. Where do you get it from? The electricity grid is not growing. They're not building new power plants. A new power plant costs $500 million, and they get a $50 million return on it, and, uh, and you can't pass the environmental permits, so they're not getting it. So now what's going to happen, and why this is such an interesting, this is not something that, okay, they're going to pay $5 billion for it, you can sell off the receivables for $2.5 billion, you pay $2 billion or $2.5 billion for it, it can make four or $500 million a year, steady state. That's not the reason you're buying it. That's financially, it's an interesting transaction, but that is not the reason you're buying it. The reason you're buying it is you are reinventing the electric grid. That's a bigger opportunity than cars. And you need to do it because you're not gonna have enough electricity for cars. Do you know that in electric plants right now, if you think about the power that's used, do you know how electricity works? Do you ever take physics? Uh, years and years and years ago. Okay, so there's a wire. And when you turn it on in the morning, you have peak power. Right. Peak power is because you're filling up that yep. wire, that pipeline, with electrons. And then when you use the electrons, as you use it through the day, then you're picking up one or two electrons at a time. So, so initially, a surge in power, a surge in demand, then it goes down. The electric uh, uh, power plant, the, the grid, is not being used as its full capacity. You have to have more than you need by about twice. So if you can level load in some way, then you can have twice as much power produced from your existing plants as you do presently. Twice as much. So the reason this is such an interesting right. transaction for Tesla is they are going to be massive producers of batteries at very, very low cost. When I started, it was $22,000 a battery for a car. It's now in the low teens. It's going to be $5,000 within, I guess, five years. An engine cost is $10,000 right. going up. The battery cost is $5,000 in five years going down. But what you're going to do, you're going to have big batteries in people's homes and solar power. So solar power is like a Trojan horse. So solar power are these, are these yep. roofs, yep. amazing roofs. Everybody we, talk, we've, we've talked roof, about right? them on the air. They right? look like it. They look it, amazing. And they're no longer just those, you know, ugly glass uh, exactly. reflective things. So that's going to start in a year from now. Right. But, but in the meantime, what's going to happen is that they will, because you're going to have solar, you right. don't get solar at nighttime, so the batteries save up the power. Right. And then the battery can, now you do it at night. But then the reason is that this is really interesting, is that the batteries, what they are, they're going to be a network. And they're going to right. allow the utilities to hook into the, net, the Tesla power network. Right. And then instead of building those plants, they'll keep it level load.
Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.